inside out is a revolutionary thought process of thinking about how to build advanced networks for wireless data, wireless broadband, and it's based on a lot of work that uh, I did when I was a CTO at Sprint for mobile broadband and then at Time Warner, we're looking at these network architectures and seeing how you could really provide the best user experience and provide the solutions to the pain points for wireless broadband, and those were the early days of, of wireless broadband, and now we're seeing the explosive growth in data consumption and the fact that more and more usage is indoors mm -hmm. and, and more and more users are doing broadband data applications instead of voice. So the traffic patterns are changing, the usage model is changing, and using the same old network technology architectures, although you have a new air interface called LTE, but you're really using the same way of putting those base stations together is not the right way to do it because ultimately you're going to be limited by the laws of physics in terms of in-building penetration, in terms of cell coverage and, and, uh, and the coverage holes we have. So think about from a user perspective where do they spend most of their time, build the best network for them where they spend most of their time using data and then go from there to develop the, you know, the seamless mobility to the outside. So this uh, you know, is dependent on a lot of different network technology components like distributed antenna systems, like Pico cells, like femto cells, and at the same time having the management infrastructure and software that allows you to provide the seamless mobility experience to the end user. What we think is, you know, sometimes these terms are loosely used because they kind of mean low, uh, you know, coverage but not high capacity. What I mean is build broadband data systems that leverage the backhaul where where backhaul exists because the biggest challenge is you put these small cells out, you don't have backhaul. We've got to think about locations that already have backhaul. That's the home, the office, you know, the suburban areas where you have cable fiber plant. Leverage deployment around those areas and build broadband systems. So really, when we say broadband, it's not just a broadband air interface. Think about a broadband antenna, broadband transceiver, broadband elements, because people have spectrum that go from 700 to 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, they want radios that not only give you, you know, a couple of megabits, but tens of megabits, and we saw the traffic growth that's happening, you probably need an amplifier that traverses 100 megahertz maybe. I mean, it's, it's, it's those kind of architectures that really need to be developed that are really focused on data, and focus on data. You know, the voice network is good enough, it's working well for us. There are some coverage holes as well that, you know, will help with this broadband data network because you put voice as an application, but really focus on how do you get the highest throughput in, in ubiquitously, everywhere there's data usage.